Hi, in this video, we're going to continue building our page header by adding visualization cards or KPIs. Okay, again, let's begin. We're going to go ahead and I'm going to click on the my application, open it up. I'll click the edit button. And as you can see here, I have, again, my page one that we're designing, okay? And this will be the first visualization I'm going to add. I'm going to click on this icon here so under visualization I, again I can expand or collapse this section I'm going to click on the card here and a blank card appears so again like I did before I'm going to go again drag and drop it I'm going to place it underneath the title you know place it here and again as you can see let me refer back to my business requirements document this is what we're building here these two cards here okay so this card here, again, let's refer back to my document, says total weekly hours viewed. So let's go ahead, and now we're going to start doing some calculations. Now we're going to get into fun stuff, okay? So basically what we want to do is display the total weekly hours viewed in this card, okay? So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to click on my data section. I'm going to click on the expand button here, and I have a field here called weekly hours viewed. I'm going to click here. And you could see it adds weekly hours viewed. As you can see, let, let's take a pause and let's look at the data elements for a minute. These two data elements have this this sum button here because it because Power BI knows when you when the when it imported the data, it knows that these are numbers, so it can do some math theoretically on these two variables. Okay, so here you go. So I added my weekly hours viewed here. Okay, great, it works. Now we can make it look better more professional okay so how do we do that so as you can see it says build visual so i built my visual simple enough i added my field okay fields okay and i'm doing a sum okay i'm going to click here this icon here to format the visual okay so i can turn the label on and off so I'll turn it off for now call out value i can change again i can change the font i'll change it oh, let me click the Downward arrow again, I'll scroll down here to attribution. I'm gonna keep the font same throughout the application, okay? Kind of important, all right? I'm gonna go ahead and click, a, select the si size of it. Well, yeah, that's a little too small. We'll go to 20. And then I'm gonna go ahead and change the color. Um, we'll come back to changing the color in a minute. But I'm gonna go ahead and do display units and do billions, okay? And I can also change my decimal places. So we'll do two decimal places, okay? So it's saying 63.7 billion views. Okay, we're going to come back to that in a little while, all right, what that means, all right? So we have our value. I can click on general, and now I can actually go ahead and do some more formatting. Okay, so like the title, for example, I had a title. And again, click the drop down. I'll type in the text total weekly hours viewed. And again, I can change my font. I can, I'll, I'll keep the size at, well, we'll make it 18. Okay, perfect. And I'll go ahead and do a center it in the middle here. Okay. Um, so what I'll also do now is I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to um, expand this effects here. Okay. Now I'm going to change the background color of this particular card. All right. So go over here to my Excel sheet where I have my colors here. It says card. Views is I'm going to use this color here again. I predefined these colors before starting to build my app. I'll click here, more colors, and make my color. Now, as you can see, it's like, well, the color looks nice, but it's hard to read the font. Okay, so now I gotta go back, change it, text color. I'll change it to white. This is my title. Perfect. Go back to visual, call out value, colors to white so there you go so now i have a card showing my total weekly hour, hours viewed and that number is going to change as i filter through my data again we'll show that in later videos okay all right <clears throat> okay so now we're going to add one more card okay again back to the business requirements as you can see it says here unique shows tv film okay so we're going to add that card go back to my app click on card I'm going to drag and drop it right next to here we'll Place it here. I'll make this a little smaller here. 
make this one a little smaller so we can make something like this. Then we'll, we'll add some more pizzazz to it later on. But this time here, I'm going to count the shows. So right here, I'm going to click on show title. All right. And no, we don't want to do that. What we want to do is we want to click this down here and we'll do count distinct. So that's going to give us a count of distinct shows. Okay. Because remember, a show can be in one or several weeks throughout our data. Okay. But we want to count it to unique show. Okay. So I'm going to click on count distinct shows. Okay. That's how we define the count to distinct shows. So what it's saying is, is you have 1,000. 139 distinct shows in your application database, okay? So now we're going to go ahead. We're going to make this professional looking like we did with the other card. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to click on my um, format your visual. I'll turn off the category label. I'm going to kind of skip ahead a little bit here. I'll go to general. I'll click on effects. I'll go back to my Excel sheet and it says card for unique shows. I'll copy this color here. I'll change the color of the background first. Then I'll go ahead and change the fonts and add my my uh, my information. There you go. I'll turn the title on and we'll say here, let's see what our business requirements call, says this is called unique shows TV film. Yep. Unique shows TV film. And again, I'll change the font. And we'll make this 18. And I'll center it. And I'll change the color to white. Looks much, much better. And then I'll go ahead and I'm going to change the um, visual here to call out value. I'll also change that to a same font, same color white. I'll do my, um, no, we don't want the thousands. We want whole numbers here, so we'll just do auto. And then uh, no no units, of course, because they're full values, okay? So we have that. We'll change the font to a size of 16. No, it's a little too small. We'll do 18. There, 20. We'll go with 20, okay? So now we have our two cards or KPIs for our application, okay? One showing our total weekly hours viewed and one showing the unique shows. In the next videos, we'll continue building our page header. Thank you for watching this video.